Where are you from? Austin. Austin, what street? I don't rep no hood. I'm from all over. You from all over? Yeah, every, everybody in Austin know I don't rep no neighborhood. I never have. Okay. You, just did you move Austin. around a lot or did you? Yeah, I did move around a lot growing up. I started off living east, like in 2 3 area. Then I moved more east. And then uh, I stayed in 2 in a little bit. And then I moved out north, like middle school high school and I stayed out north and I moved out south, you know what I'm saying? But uh, pretty much everybody knew me growing up. I wouldn't say I was that nigga, but like shit, I was cold at sports or decent enough in sports so everybody knew me and I was different, like dressing. Like I always had like a little swag I could, you can say, you know? For sure. I was always different wearing shit niggas weren't trying to wear and that's, been my appearance since I was a young nigga, you know. You on that Supreme shit? When when I was younger? Yeah. Nah, hell no. Nah. I was too broke to wear Supreme. I was more so on like vintage shit growing up. Like I always did what I could or, you know what I'm saying, do what I can. So I couldn't really afford all that other shit. So I just was in the Goodwills and like thrift stores and shit. But niggas didn't know like you can get polo in there and all types of live shit if you look the most. I remember like me and my niggas used to go to every Goodwill in Austin, nigga, when we was younger and just really steal from the most. I ain't buy nothing, but you know, I don't do that shit no more. But yeah, when it was fucked up, we used to steal from them hoes and sell them at, uh, what's that shit called? Uh, Buffalo Exchange. That's how I used to get money when I got home. I used to take them clothes and go take them to Buffalo Exchange and I keep like, three polo fits on the side. But the moral of that story, I lost all that. Like, I looked at it like, bro, stealing is not the way to go. Everything I ever stole in my life, I do not have, you feel me? So, do not steal, kids. <laughs> moral of the story. Yeah. Um, you've always been in the fashion? Yeah, always. Like, my mama, even when we was younger, like, people don't know, like, shit. Me and my brother used to always, always be into fashion. Like my mom used to always get us fresh. Even when we was little, we used to have to like, she used to make us box for shoes and shit. Like whoever went and get a pair of shoes type shit. And she just kept us fresh and we always been into fashion, like always. Start off with shoes. I wasn't more so into clothes until like high school. Like I used to let my mom get all my clothes. I just wanted to pick my shoes out. When I, high, when I got to high school, I started looking at it like, bro, I need to, you know, start swagging up. My mama just, she did her thing, but, you know, I had to spice it up a little bit. Who are some of your, like, fashion inspirations? Growing up? Yeah. Uh, ah, I ain't gonna cap. Growing up, I used to fuck with Dom Kennedy tough, like, in high school. Um, I remember when he wore them, like, it was like cut off shorts. Like niggas weren't wearing cut off shorts back in then. Like if you wore cut off shorts, like niggas was roasting you. Like shorts, like you used to have pants and just cut them into shorts. He had wore them and it was like kind of above your knee. Like niggas get roasted back then. You wear some shorts above your knee. And then he had wore like the threes. It was fresh. And he had like a baseball jersey. And I was just like, damn, like niggas on that. You know what I'm saying? So I seen that. I was just like, damn, I really like that. And I started wearing like cut off shorts and like uh, I used to wear my threes, the true blues, those was my favorite threes. I just wear it with a jersey, like a bullish jersey or something like, I was just into that shit, you know? And like I got the jersey at a thrift store, you feel me? I did not <laughs> go to no, I remember, I ain't gonna lie, I just really started like shopping at stores, you feel me? Like when I started getting money and stuff and things start going my way, I start shopping in stores and you know, ever since then. You finally do that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You still go to Buffalo? Nah. Well, nah. nah, not really, cause everybody know about it now. Like when I was on it, niggas didn't know about Buffalo Exchange. Now like everybody know about it, so all the good shit kind of be gone. But like, nah, I still go to thrift stores though. And like uh, monkeys, I don't know if you ever heard of that. Oh, yeah. Stacks, Austin. Monkeys, you can fucking get that good shit on the low. Facts and Stacks, Austin. They be having some like live. They got Supreme in there, like vintage Supreme. Like, 
and that shit more valuable to me. Like, shit niggas ain't gonna have because when Supreme drops something, it's for when they when they drop it and everybody gets that. So everybody be having the same shit. That's true. But the old Supreme, like, if you can cop some of that, you'd be swagged the fuck out. And they'll be like, where you get that at? Facts. 